reading stock prices in the newspaper. As a rule, stocks are traded on the stock exchanges every weekday from Monday to Friday. The stock prices appear in the business section of many newspapers the next day. An easy way to identify the stock price page is to look for a page with many columns of figures and words. There are literally thousands of stocks out there and the stock exchanges have grouped them into many categories. Once you get the hang of it, it is really quite simple to decipher stock prices and it can be quite informative. The first thing you need to do is to find out which group your company's stock is in. You will find your company's stock in a table that may look like this. The company's name will appear on the left. In this case, it is ONGC. The figure appearing in brackets after the name is the previous day's closing or last traded price. In this case, it is rupees 271.45. The four figures appearing immediately after this are the day's opening price, rupees 271.85. The day's highest price, rupees 276.35. The day's lowest price, rupees 269.95. And the day's closing or last traded price, rupees 272.15. What this means is that ONGC was first traded at rupees 271.85. During the course of the day, its price reached a maximum of rupees. 276.35 and a minimum of rupees 269.95 before finally closing at rupees 272.15. The figure after that signifies the volume of shares that was traded throughout the day or turnover. It is usually given in units of 1,000 shares. In this case, a total of 35,70,000 shares were traded on the exchange that day. After that comes the 52-week high-low of the stock. This tells you the highest and lowest price the stock was traded at during the preceding 52 weeks, that is, one year. In this case, during the preceding 52 weeks, ONGC had touched a high of Rs. 312.80 and a low of Rs. 219.80. The last column is the P-E ratio, which in this case is 8.42. The P-E ratio is the ratio of a company's stock price to its earnings per share. But more on this later. Sometimes there may be two sets of data for the same stock. These two sets refer to the data received from the two main stock exchanges in the country, the BSE and the NSE. So you see, reading the prices of a stock in the newspaper is quite easy. Now why don't you check your understanding by reading today's prices?